the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 22. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and in the light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Questioner, the instrument would like to ask a couple of questions of you. I'll get them out of the way first. The instrument would like to know why she smells the incense at various times during the day in various places. I am RAW. This instrument has spent a lifetime in dedication to service. This has brought this instrument to this nexus in space-time with a conscious and unconscious distortion towards service, with the further conscious distortion towards service by communication. Each time, as you would put it, that we perform this working our social memory complex vibrational distortion meshes more firmly with this instrument's unconscious distortions towards service. Thus we are becoming a part of this instrument's vibratory complex and it a part of ours. This occurs upon the unconscious level, the level whereby the mind has gone down through to the roots of consciousness which you may call cosmic. This instrument is not consciously aware of this slow changing of the meshing vibratory complex. However, as the dedication on both levels continues, and the workings continue, there are signals sent from the unconscious in a symbolic manner. Because this instrument is extremely keen in its sense of smell this association takes place unconsciously, and the thought form of this odor is witnessed by the entity. Questioner, secondly, she would like to know why she feels more healthy now after she does these sessions. She's generally feeling more healthy as time goes on. I am raw. This is a function of the free will of the entity. This entity has, for many of your years, prayed a certain set of sound vibration complexes before opening to communication. Before the trance state was achieved this prayer remained within the conscious portion of the mind complex and, though helpful, was not as effective as the consequence of this prayer, as you would call this vibrational sound complex, which then goes directly into the unconscious level, thus more critically affecting the communication from the spiritual complex. Also, this entity has begun, due to this working, to accept certain limitations which it placed upon itself in order to set the stage for services such as it now performs. This also is an aid to realigning the distortions of the physical complex with regard to pain. Questioner, thank you. I'll ask a couple of questions to clear up the end of the second cycle the second major cycle. And then we'll go on to the third and last of the major cycles. Can you tell me the lifespan? The average lifespan, at the end of the second major cycle, I am raw. By the end of the second major cycle the lifespan was as you know it, with certain variations among geographically isolated peoples more in harmony with intelligent energy and less bellicose. Questioner, can you tell me the length of that SP average span in years at the end of the second major cycle? I am raw. The average is perhaps misleading, to be precise. Many spend approximately 35 to 40 of your years in one incarnation with the possibility not considered abnormal of a lifespan approaching 100 of your years. Questioner, then can you give me a can I assume then that this drastic drop from 700 year lifespan to one less than 100 years in length during this second 25,000 year period was because of an intensification of A of a condition of lack of service to others? Is this correct? I am raw. This is in part correct. By the end of the second cycle, the law of responsibility had begun to be effectuated by the increasing ability of entities to grasp those lessons which there are to be learned in this density. Thus, entities had discovered many ways to indicate a bellicose nature, not only as tribes or what you call nations but in personal relationships, each with the other, the concept of barter having given way in many cases to the concept of money. Also, the concept of ownership having one ascendancy over the concept of non-ownership on an individual or group basis. Each entity then was offered many more subtle ways of demonstrating either service towards others or service to self with the distortion of the manipulation of others. As each lesson was understood, those lessons of sharing, of giving, of receiving and free gratitude each lesson could be rejected in practice. Without demonstrating the fruits of such learned teaching the lifespan became greatly reduced, for the ways of honor duty were not being accepted. Questioner, would this shortened lifespan help the entity in any way in that he would have more at times in between incarnations to review his mistakes, 
or would this shortened lifespan hinder him? I am raw. Both are correct. The shortening of the lifespan is a distortion of the law of one which suggests that an entity not receive more experience in more intensity than it may bear. This is only an effect upon an individual level and does not hold sway over planetary or social complexes. Thus the shortened lifespan is due to the necessity for removing an entity from the intensity of experience which ensues when wisdom and love are, having been rejected, reflected back into the consciousness of the creator without being accepted as part of the self, this then causing the entity to have the need for healing and for much evaluation of the incarnation. The incorrectness lies in the truth that, given appropriate circumstances, a much longer incarnation in your space-time continuum is very helpful for continuing this intensive work until conclusions have been reached through the catalytic process. Questioner, you spoke of the South American group that was harvestable at the end of the second cycle. How long was their average lifespan at the end of the second cycle? I am raw. This isolated group had achieved lifespans stretching upwards towards the 900-year, 900-year lifespan appropriate to this density. Questioner, then I'm assuming the planetary action that we're experiencing now, which shortens, it seems, all lifespans here, was not strong enough at the time to affect them and shorten their lifespan regardless. Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct. It is well to remember that at that nexus in space-time great isolation was possible. Questioner, about how many people populated the Earth totally at that time? That is, incarnated in the physical at any one time? I am raw. I am assuming that you intend to query regarding the number of incarnate mind-body-spirit complexes at the end of the second major cycle, this number being approximately 345-000-345,000, 345,000 entities. Questioner, approximately how many were harvestable out of the total number? I am raw. There were approximately 150, 150. Entities harvestable. Questioner, a very small number. Then as the next cycle started are these the entities then that stayed to work on the planet? I am raw. These entities were visited by the Confederation and became desirous of remaining in order to aid the planetary consciousness. This is correct. Questioner, what type of visit did the Confederation make to this group of 150 entities? I am raw. A light being appeared bearing that which may be called a shield of light. It spoke of the oneness and infinity of all creation and of those things which await those ready for harvest. It described in golden words the beauties of love as lived. It then allowed a telepathic linkage to progressively show those who were interested the plight of third density when seen as a planetary complex. It then left. Questioner, and did all of these entities then decide to stay and help during the next 25,000 year cycle? I am raw. This is correct. As a group they stayed. There were those peripherally associated with this culture which did not stay. However, they were not able to be harvested either and so, beginning of the very highest, shall we say, of the sub-octaves of third density, repeated this density. Many of those who have been of a loving nature are not wanderers but those of this particular origin of second cycle. Questioner, are all of these entities still with us in this cycle? I am raw. The entities repeating the third density major cycle have, in some few cases, been able to leave. These entities have chosen to join their brothers and sisters, as you would call these entities. Questioner, were any of these entities names that we know from our historical past that have appeared as incarnated beings we find in our history? I am raw. The one known as Sound Vibration Complex, Saint Augustine, is of such a nature. The one known as Saint Teresa of such a nature. The one known as Saint Francis of Assisi of such nature. These entities, being of monastic background, as you would call it, found incarnation in the same type of ambience appropriate for further learning. Questioner, well, then, as the cycle terminated 25,000 years ago, what was the reaction of the Confederation to the lack of harvest? I am raw. We became concerned. Questioner, was any action taken immediately? Or did you wait for a call? I am raw. The Council of Saturn acted only in allowing the entry into third density of other mind-body-spirit complexes of third density, not wanderers, but those who sought further third density experience. This was done randomly so that free will would not be violated for there was not yet a call. Questioner, was the next action taken by the Confederation when a call occurred? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, who or what group produced this call? 
and what action was taken by the Confederation, the calling was that of Atlantines. This calling was for what you would call understanding with the distortion towards helping other selves. The action taken is that which you take part in at this time, the impression of information through channels, as you would call them. Questioner, was this first calling then at a time before Atlantis became technologically advanced? I am wrong. This is basically correct. Questioner, then did the technological advancement of Atlantis come because of this call? I am assuming the call was answered to bring them the law of one and the law of love as a distortion of the law of one, but did they also then get technological information that caused them to grow into such a highly technological society? I am wrong. Not at first. At about the same time as we first appeared in the skies over Egypt, and continuing thereafter, other entities of the Confederation appeared onto Atlantines who had reached a level of philosophical understanding, shall we misuse this word, which was consonant with communication, to encourage and inspire studies in the mystery of unity. However, requests being made for healing and other understandings, information was passed having to do with crystals and the building of pyramids as well as temples, as you would call them, which were associated with training. Questioner, was this training the same type of initiatory training that was done with the Egyptians? I am wrong. This training was different in that the social complex was more, shall we say, sophisticated and less contradictory and barbarous in its ways of thinking. Therefore the temples were temples of learning rather than the attempt being made to totally separate and put upon a pedestal the healers. Questioner, then were there what we would call priests trained in these temples? I am wrong. You would not call them priests in the sense of celibacy, of obedience, and of poverty. They were priests in the sense of those devoted to learning. The difficulties became apparent as those trained in this learning began to attempt to use crystal powers for those things other than healing, as they were involved not only with learning but became involved with what you would call the governmental structure. Questioner, was all of their information given to them in the way you're giving our information now, through an instrument such as this instrument? I am wrong. There were visitations from time to time but none of importance in the, shall we say, historical passage of events and your space-time continuum. Questioner, was it necessary for them to have a unified social complex for these visitations to occur? What conditions were neck I'm saying, what conditions were necessary for these visitations to occur? I am wrong. The conditions were two, the calling of a group of people whose square overcame the integrated resistance of those unwilling to search or learn. The second requirement, the relative naivete of those members of the Confederation who felt that direct transfer of information would necessarily be as helpful for Atlantines as it had been for the Confederation entity. Questioner, I see then. What you're saying is these naive Confederation entities had had the same thing happen to them in their past so they were doing the same thing for the Atlantean entities. Is this correct? I am wrong. This is correct. We remind you that we are one of the naive members of that Confederation and are still attempting to recoup the damage for which we feel responsible responsibility. It is our duty as well as honor to continue with your peoples, therefore, until all traces of the distortions of our teach learnings have been embraced by their opposite distortions, and balance achieved. Questioner, I see. Then I will state the picture I have now of Atlantis and you can tell me if I'm correct. We have a condition where a large enough number of the entities of Atlantis had started at least going in the direction of the law of one and living the law of one for their call to be heard by the Confederation. This call was heard because, using the law of squares, it overrode the opposition of the Atlantean entities that were not calling. The Confederation then used channels such as we use now for communication and also made contact directly, but this turned out to be a mistake because it was perverted by some of the entities of Atlantis. Is this correct? This is correct with one exception. There is only one law. That is the law of one. Other so-called laws are distortions of this law some of them primal and most important for progress to be understood. However, it is well that each so-called law, which we also call way, be understood as a distortion rather than a law. There is no multiplicity to the law of one. This will be the final question in length of this working. Please ask it now. Questioner, what was the, the only question I was going to ask? That I can think of was could you give me the average lifespan of the Atlantean population? I am wrong. The average lifespan, as we have said, is misleading. The Atlanteans were, in the early part of their cultural experience, used to lifespans from 70, 70, to 140, 140, years, this being, of course, approximate. Due to increasing desire for power, the lifetime decreased rapidly in the later stages of this civilization and, thus, 
the healing and rejuvenating information was requested. Do you have any brief queries before we close? Questioner, is there any way that we can make the instrument more comfortable or anything that we can do for her? I am raw. The instrument is well. It is somewhat less easy to maintain clear contact during a time when some or one of the entities in the circle of working is or are not fully conscious. We request that entities in the circle be aware that their energy is helpful for increasing the vitality of this contact. We thank you for being conscientious in the asking. I am raw. It is a great joy to leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai. And Obsession 22.